Hi everyone, this is Murat. Uh, I have been working as a data scientist uh, and I'm a software engineer. Uh, in this presentation, uh, I am here in order to explain uh, what we did in this article. I can start with Industry uh, 4.0. Uh, this is so popular name and also uh, IoT, Big Data and Information Communication Technologies. Uh, this is uh, some data oriented and scientific methods. Uh, in smart fact manufacturing, smart products and smart supply chain, uh, our aim is prevent inefficiencies in industrial process, which are costly in terms of time, money, and exactly consumer satisfaction. Also, I can mention intelligent visual inspection. Uh, these systems to ensure high quality of products in production lines are in increasing demand. Uh, I can say it is a big demand. Uh, it's over that. Uh, in this context, uh, we aim to progress by including image processing methods in their quality process to obtain the most effective product in production states. Uh, in this area, many works have been done based on deep learning, uh, such as classification of defect types in the semiconductor manufacturing process, visual inspection, and solving the long-standing problem of anomaly detection. These are just examples. In this research, uh, an industry case study has been realized in Eldor Corporation, which was established by Pascal Forte in 1972, and it's an international group leader in the automotive business and supplier to the main automotive manufacturers across the world. In Eldor use case, uh, there are cameras on the lines that are checking strictly specified measurement values to prevent defects on products. Uh, application uh, that is running inside cameras are labeling products as OK or not OK by using these uh, measurement values. Uh, it's very difficult and also time consuming process and our aim is to um, make more efficient uh, progress for this area. There, there is always a possibility that uh, the convex camera may make mistakes in classifying OK and not OK images. Uh, it is the possible. These are sample images. This is sample OK and this is sample not OK images. This is so clear and uh, there is no defect. But in this area, in this in this time, uh, this is a simple defect, and we we don't want to do this. Uh, this is a this should be classified as not OK. Uh, we create some uh, convolutional neural network in order to solve this problem and I, I will explain. But first of all, uh, when li the literature is researched, it is seen that many studies have been uh, conducted in image classification of defective products. Uh, it can be surface quality inspection uh, or it can be a mask region based uh, classification. Uh, there are lots of examples we can uh, give. This is uh, my environment to solve this problem. Uh, we have 6 GB uh, GDDR6 NVIDIA GeForce uh, graphic, user, graphic, graphic uh, processor unit and also we have uh, 32 GB uh, RAM. Yeah, um, I can I can mention about data set. Uh, we have almost 30,000 uh, images in total, uh, but these images, uh, 25,000 is okay and just 2,000 is not okay. And this is unbalanced data set problem. And uh, when we process these images, also we did some arg uh, augmentation technique uh, on data set. This is an example raw image. It's almost uh, 1,200 time 1600 uh, it is this is matrix size uh, this is image quality but when we when we did all a like, whole process uh, this is the last version of image just 200 time 200 matrix it is so simple and uh, as you as you see this is a defect here 
and it should be classified as uh, not okay. Also here uh, I can give example about our preprocessing uh, phases like circle detection. Uh, first of all, uh, we should detect this uh, circle area. Uh, if, if we detect this area, we can ignore all of the noisy because we need just this area. This is black and circle uh, detection. That's what we need. And after that, uh, we crop data. And after uh, we, we make some uh, grayscale uh, preprocessing, and after that, uh, we will do some normalization, uh, animate scaling. That's it. This is our preprocessing phases. In data augmentation, uh, we generated 10,000 not okay images, uh, and uh, we need to solve this unbalanced data set problem. Uh, we did some horizontal flip, vertical flip, or rotation uh, with some degree, uh, like 15 degree not rotation, like 20 degree rotation. And uh, we, we didn't lose uh, some details in the image. This is our deep learning architectures we work with. And uh, we use deep residual network. We use UNET image segmentation and auto encoders and uh, convolutional neural network. Uh, this is simple uh, what we did actually. This is our input, uh, 200 times 200 matrix. And these are OK and these are not OK. Neural network layers over there. And what is our output? What, what is the result? If, is it OK? And if also we said OK, it is uh, true positive. Uh, also, we did some uh, hyperparameter tuning. Uh, in order to uh, make a efficient solution, uh, for example, activation function, it can be stochastic gradient descent, it can be momentum, uh, also other grad, other delta uh, or root mean squared uh, prop. Uh, there are lots of uh, options over there, and we tried uh, lots of um, parameter or also learning rate network layer size, node length, and regularization parameters, these are the important hyperparameters. Hyperparameter means we change this parameter. This is our uh, final uh, deep learning architecture. Uh, we have input, and also we have some layers. This is our convolutional ne layer neural network. Uh, first, first part is a convolutional layer and also uh, max pooling layer, as you see, uh, again, convolutional layer, and again, max pooling layer, and fully connected layer with relo activation, and also finally, it is fully connected layer with dropout. Uh, this is our result. Our result can be okay or not okay. This is simple uh, convolutional neural network architecture. Uh, this is our evolution, uh, evolution metrics. As you see, the uh, left part of uh, loss chart and the uh, right part of uh, accuracy chart. Uh, and which means uh, there is no memorizing in this area. And finally, uh, there are 110 images that, that was not included in the training. And we need to test, uh, is everything OK? Uh, is learning possible? Is training good? Uh, we need to uh, answer. The prediction result of these image is shown in the following confusion matrix. And uh, 72 is OK. And also we say OK. And we can say that it's true positive. And also 31, it was not OK. And also we predicted as not OK. It is also uh, positive, true negative. I can say that. Yeah, and also we missed uh, seven images. Four images was okay, but we predicted as not okay. Also three images was uh, not okay, but we predicted as okay. These are uh, false negative and false positive uh, images.
And uh, as a conclusion, uh, as future studies, the number of images used can be increased or different deep learning models can be trained and tested. Uh, but we did in this study, a CNN deep learning model is trained and tested to classify fake defective and real defective product images in a production line. The model is trained uh, using a data set has almost uh, 30,000 images in total. Uh, the results of the trained model has almost 98 accuracy. Uh, since the results are promising and container application is also developed using big data tools and tested in the field. Thanks for listening to me. Uh,